15 tips you need to know before playing Hell Divers 2. Make sure to share this with a friend that sucks at the game. This video will give you an edge when you jump to the game, especially as a beginner, because the game won't tell you any of these tips. The first tip is that armor does matter. So focus on base stats and passives to fit your playstyle and mission objective. With certain missions, certain armor sets like a light armor will be more favored than a heavy armor. While in defensive missions, using heavy armor will give you that resistance against the ongoing threats. Holding R to access multiple different specifications on your weapon from scopes to RPM to shooting patterns and the flash are being on or off within a run. This can give you the greater edge that you may need in certain fights to be able to do more damage per second or be able to control the weapon even better. Fun fact, the railgun can be sent to unsafe mode which will shoot two shots in every instance in order to do more damage but the pattern of the shots will start to get a little bit crazier and start to scatter at a further distance. This mechanic is very useful against the larger threats or any other large alien or automaton that you verse in Helldivers 2. Activating your reload early will access a speed reload but will lose the remaining bullets in that mag that you just dropped. Finishing mag and completion before reloading will be a longer reload, but you will not lose any ammo. This game is not only a shooting game, so make sure to use your stratagems, as the importance behind this mechanic will only rise in future difficulties in Helldivers 2. And another action that is really important to this channel for Helldivers 2 content is to hit that subscribe button and like button. It goes a long way, and as a Helldive player, because I do play in level 9, the max difficulty in this game, you gain the best tips right here. And if you want to see me in that difficulty with my squad, make sure to check out the live stream on Twitch. The colors representing a stratagem when the lasers come down. If it's a red light, that means death. Get away from that, because it will kill anything in its path. The blue lights are friendly, so you can be close, but don't be underneath it, because those will still kill you, even if it's a blue light, as the hell pod of that item may drop on you and kill you. Fun fact, you can use this against your enemies to destroy them even quicker. So sometimes, occasionally throwing your teammate towards a larger enemy is not a bad idea. Yellow stratagems are shared with the team, so be careful when you activate this, as those resupplies can be used for yourself and your team, so you might need to share it around. Sharing is caring here. You can ping objectives on the map to communicate goals to focus on with your team. And this will be your bread and butter in certain situations where things are going crazy. Be able to know what objective you're going to go for is important. On the high difficulty, is going for the main objective is always the goal. And the side objectives in any capacity are treated as secondary. But those secondary objectives can be very useful as these optional objectives can provide some type of benefit in your run. When completing a radar scan, the whole map will be revealed and every point of interest will be showcased to you on your map, which then you can go to those areas of interest to get loot. And another side mission will have you loading up missiles into a structure or turret, which they can use at any point in the game, unlocking another strategy in that moment of gameplay for that mission. And it can help you out so drastically, especially if you can find the mini nuke missiles to utilize in that run. When in a mission in Helldivers 2, if you see flashing beams of light, that is the area that's indicated to represent loot, which can provide super credits, medals, requisition credits, or guns to use in that run. So make sure to always go to these destinations to find loot. And in majority cases, nearby to that site, you will find samples, and samples are very important in future reference to upgrade your ship and also upgrade your stratagems to make them even more effective in your gameplay. Standing still, crouching, or being prone will naturally increase your accuracy and reduce recoil. There are armor sets as well with certain passives which will provide additional 30% better accuracy and reduce recoil while in crouch or prone state. And this can help out with magnitude of weapons in the game to increase your effectiveness with that weapon to make sure it hits the right target, the right enemy, and gets the objective done. A great example of this is using the recoil's rifle and missile launcher for your teammates to use or yourself. You can use it in cooperation with another mate and they can control the backpack and load the missiles in while you shoot. But also by being in a state where you can able to crouch and shoot, you can actually adjust your aim pretty efficiently and hit the weak spot of say a drop ship coming in. And these ships can be very devastating, but if you kill them midway, by hitting the weak spot correctly, all those enemies will become redundant. Enemies have weak spots, so take advantage of it. Robots are weak in connecting parts that usually glow in a color of red around their body. Shoot those points with any light piercing bullets and you'll be able to kill the target. When it comes to the aliens, they are weak in green slash yellow sacks. So make sure to hit those as much as possible to kill the target efficiently. And then there's certain enemies in both factions that have armor. These enemies can be weak once the armor planning is destroyed. So use a heavy supporting weapon to break the armor, such as the recourse rifle, the anti-tank rock launchers, or the railgun. Then use your primary or secondary weapon in order to hit those weak spots that you've now created with your heavy weapon. This strategy becomes even more efficient in the higher ranks and the higher difficulty because there's ongoing charges in the alien faction. And this creates that issue where they have too much armor plating and you need to be efficient at killing them 
break their leg, then shoot them with your other weapon, it could be a shotgun of any choice, and they get instantly deleted. This is the best way to clear those charges out, and I know many players have trouble killing the alien charges. And with the automatons, usually you want to directly impact their ventilation. So there'll be vents on the back of those structures, say a cannon tower or cannon turret, or any of the tanks that move around, there's a ventilation that glows yellow, target that with any missile to destroy pretty darn quickly. Fun fact against the automatons, if you actually target their weaponry, such as the rockets on a rocket devastator, which is towards their back, or their shoulders, alongside targeting the limbs of their weapons as well, which they shoot out of, like a minigun functionality, you can actually immobilize their weaponry or make it completely useless, when the automaton will only have the option of melee and getting closer personal to do so. When roaming around in Helldivers 2, you will find locations, points of interest highlighting a bunker or possibly locked crates around the map. These will provide more chances of loot, so make sure to open them up. Bunkers will require two Helldivers to activate the button at one given time, and that will open the bunker to access the loot, while Locked Crate will be unlocked by using a grenade. So use your explosives in order to open this crate to get more loot as well. When purchasing items in the standard War Bonds Pass, with medals, make sure to always purchase weapons, boosters, grenades, or armor, due to the fact that those items will enhance your gameplay opportunities directly in Helldivers 2, giving the chance to create certain builds depending on what faction you are versing. Diving in Helldivers 2 is an important strategy to keep yourself alive in life and death situations. A good dive will keep you alive even further, or make you take no damage whatsoever, as using this mechanic against the automatons, you would be able to dodge a missile from a long distance, or even be able to stop the alien charges from bashing your skull in with impact. In Helldivers 2, you have access to stims as a Helldiver, these will not only heal you, but provide you with immunity for a set duration. And your stim can also refill your stamina bar to keep on running from your enemies. And if you love the idea of having a surplus of stims, make sure to run the medic armor passive on your armor that you've chosen. It could be light, medium, or heavy, and have that passive on in order to get plus two stims, so have a total of six stims, alongside having the immunity benefit increased by two seconds, which means you will become an absolute tank and tank a lot of aggro when you pop a stim, and that will keep you alive in harder difficulties, that's for sure. And it's one of the most picked and used armor passives in Hell Dive difficulty, being the max difficulty in the game. And those are the 15 tips that you need to know before playing Hell Divers 2 to provide a greater edge in the gameplay and give you the chance of surviving the ongoing threat against the aliens and the automatons. And if there are any tips you want to leave down below in the comment section, please do so. Help out the community because that means the world. And tell me what you thought about this video. And make sure to check out the channel if you want to see the best loadouts in the game alongside crazy matches at the highest difficulty because this game is so much fun and I just want to make sure I highlight everything in its entirety for you mates to enjoy. Expect a high level guide of tips and tricks very soon. As always mates, it's been a pleasure and I'll catch you mates next time. Bye bye. Oi! No way! Oh! My back! You got me! <laughs>